For those who are born with the snake zodiac, well, year 2023, you will continue to thrive. And as a matter of fact, this year you will be gaining more new experience. Stay tuned to find out why. Before we get started, let us take a glimpse back into the year 2022 where you are supported by all these stars. So first of all, you have the Moon Nobleman star. The Moon basically is one of the unique uh, noblemen where they can help you indirectly or perhaps behind the scene. So somehow they are able to help you to trigger your mind. They can even ask you the non-conventional uh, questions that are so mind-boggling that will trigger your or activate your brain cell to be able to spot more opportunity. So this is one of the best noblemen star that we would love, especially for all those entrepreneurs out there. Secondly is the Heavenly Nobleman. Heavenly Nobleman is one of the most helpful Nobleman star where they can help uh, attract helpful Nobleman especially when the time you need it the most. So therefore having Nobleman you'll be receiving a lot of positive boost and also support to help you in carrying out your mission. Next is the Sky Gracious. Well Sky Gracious basically boosts in terms of your academic and also your personal, uh, personal charismatic. So once you have the knowledge somehow people just feel you are attractive you are exuding that sense of charm and able to make people feel that you are more attractive and also knowledgeable next is the jade hall jade hall basically denotes their potential rise or increment in terms of your value in terms of basically uh, let's say your investment your asset the house that you you already have so this is one of the positive star that we would love to have when it comes uh, when it comes to wealth matter Next is the Taiji Nobleman star. Well, as it shows, basically this is one of the awakening kind of uh, nobleman where they can help you to answer some uh, mind-boggling life uh, pursue kind of question. Somehow they will be able to give you the wisdom that help you to answer the life uh, uh, life-boggling questions such as what is my life purpose. So somehow having this star will also lead you to seek for your own higher wisdom, help you to seek your life purpose. So it could attract you to study the non-conventional wisdom or uh, pursuing spiritual path, go to uh, ashram and go for some meditation course. So basically this is one of the attractive kind of nobleman star that help you to awaken your hidden life potential or your own life meaning. And you are also affected by all these negative star. So first of all is the year punishment. Well, basically this means that when you go out to help other people or the, act, the things that you do causes more bigger issue. So basically this star is like you're going to complexify things despite it's already simple enough. Next is the heavenly officer charm. Denotes that it could be bringing you a lot of unwanted legal or judiciary kind of issue. It could be causing from agreement, the things that you promised, or it could, you know, require you to attend some uh, governmental kind of uh, offices to submit tender, to, to settle some summonses perhaps. Next is the triple punishment. Well, the triple punishment is more serious, especially when it comes to uh, when you offer yourself to help up other people. Somehow you are being put in a very undesired condition and people just frame you to a stage that you feel you are helpless. You can't uh, help. You, you just can't help your own self as well. So this could be quite serious and render you to be completely, you know, uh, uh, unable to make any changes. Next is the Great Assembly. The Great Assembly basically brings situations which is going to be, you know, the, the environment, the situation around you somehow just went haywire. And to worse, it could cause your, your wealth to be uh, uh, stolen. It could cause your break of some uh, financial gain. So basically, it means that what can go wrong can, would go wrong, okay? Next is the death god. Well, death god basically means that your body just low in terms of immunity. You easily fall sick. And next is the hook spirit. Hook spirit basically means that you may overwork yourself and some of the hidden or, or the past attachment kind of issue just haunt you back and making you feel drained and unable to make any positive move ahead. Next is the six harms. Well, six harm basically means that you, you're, you're, you're sincere to help someone or help other people somehow being taken advantage. As a matter of fact, you are being blamed for helping them. So this is basically talk about, you know, um, manage your own expectations. Don't try to help other people when they didn't ask for it. So just make sure you clear your own job scope and that's all. 
And next is the a solitary star. Well, solitary star basically means that you are feeling lonely. You just don't being understand by other people. So it's just your emotional issue. And last is the pulling rope, a uh, piercing rope. The piercing rope basically means that you are being pressured to perform. Despite, you know, you may have over promised someone and somehow things just fall back to you and you have to make that deliverables. So overall, those are positive and negative influence for the next zodiac in year 2022. So next, let us take a glimpse into the year 2022. Let us see what's in store for you in year 2023. In year 2023, you are influenced by all these stars. So first of all, it's the Sky Horse star. Well, the Sky Horse basically brings you opportunity to travel. There'll be more opportunity for you to move around. And also having this star will also boost for those who are doing business. Perhaps it's time for you to expand your market, you know, explore new market. So I think this is quite interesting. And for those who are working for other people, perhaps this is a good time for you to actually uh, travel to outstations, have more opportunity to work with other people from other continents collaboratively. And next is the heavenly Yi nobleman. Yes, some of the star is repetitively appear this year because you are boosted with all these auspicious. So make sure you are able to tap on all this advantage. So first of all, is the heavenly Yi nobleman. Heavenly Yi nobleman basically is uh, ability to attract helpful nobleman coming into your life, help you to get some of the problems sorted out. So make sure you are be willing to receptive of other people's help because sometimes we just can't do everything by our own self. So make sure be receptive and let other other people to contribute to uh, help you in certain way that as they could. So overall, this will also help you to increase your intensify your ability to become other people's nobleman because remember the best way to attract helpful nobleman into your life is to first become the nobleman to other people next is the sky gracious well the sky gracious as i mentioned it will boost your academic learning ability and somehow it will help you to exude this charming kind of attractions people find you more likable so this kind of style will actually boost your academy and if you are learning for certain skill set learning going through some certifications up applications or upgrading yourself so this style will actually boost your ability to attain more new knowledge at the same time being attractive because you are being able to not just good looking but also knowledgeable and next is the Taiji Nobleman Star. And yes, this is one of what we call the Awakening Star to help you to learn the non-conventional studies in life. Perhaps you've been wanting to answer your life purpose, seeking for your higher connection with your higher self. So this star will somehow attract helpful noblemen to, you know, they were somehow able to help you to uncover some of the life boggling questions that you have been wanting to get it addressed this year so this is a positive start to boost your ability to either pursuing some religious or spiritual pursuit going for ashram for some meditations retreat or perhaps you wanted to to go for some pilgrimage well basically the options is yours perhaps all this kind of uh, what we call activities will help you to answer some of the deepest question that been had been bothering you in your entire life so nevertheless this is a positive start to learn the unconventional wisdom to learn the unconventional studies and perhaps it's good for you to study reiki or energy healing or perhaps metaphysics it help you to gain the unconventional wisdom that you know all this life is not just being um, you know a material pursuit but as well as seeking your own inner connections with your own higher self as well so overall, these are the positive star that's supporting you. But nevertheless, there are some negative star affecting you, such as first of all, it's the separating age. Well, separating age basically means that you may be being positioned in a very disadvantaged situation where it could become, you know, lock up, you're being boycott where somehow some things that you have done causing this uh, widen, widen kind of uh, situation between you and people around you. And worse, it could also cause you having communication breakdown and having no access to all the resources you have built up previously. And next is the broken star. Well, broken star basically means you are more clumsy. Somehow you can easily break stuff. And together with the separating age, it denotes that there'll be a lot of communication breakdown as well. And 
all the things that you may have planned, somehow it may not turn out to materialize the way that you want it. Somehow there'll be a lot of uh, breakup in terms of contracts, uh, breakup in terms of uh, or understanding over the, uh, the scope of a project. So make sure communication is very important to you this year. And also next is the solid killing. Well, solid killing basically it could mean that some, somehow there'll be a lot of hindrance, obstacle, challenges which may turn you off and all this may cost you your opportunity perhaps your opportunity being hijacked being robbed and they could even affect your financial or uh, wealth generation ability so basically this style is talking about all the hindrances could cost you a lot if you don't properly monitor all the stuff that you are doing and next is the great sharp well great sharp basically similar like the white tiger influence where there'll be a lot of petty people there'll be a lot of people gossip around spreading rumors and all this could actually cause you to be reactive and somehow it make you feel overbearing and and uh, and it will make you feel that you are helpless you can't help your own self as you have to handle a lot of drama this year so make sure all this tiny matter uh, tiny little issue that try to make it clear, try to help other people to understand where, what you are doing, where you are heading to, make sure they are understand of what you are doing and make sure they are aligned, especially if you're working with other people, okay? Next is the funeral door and a funeral. Well, basically these two star denotes there could be some sad events. It could be worse up to, you know, some of your relative may have some funeral events that require you to attend and especially when this star appear in your zodiac you have to pay extra attention to your parents or people who are you who you love the most your relative your perhaps even your close friends so just pay attention to their health and make sure their their health conditions are well maintained and make sure you are able to have a very clear communications with them as well and next is the flying chase. Well, flying chase basically is a high hazard mishap kind of uh, situations where you may easily get injured due to other people's uh, their accidents and somehow they were afflicted, uh, inflicted on you. And this is not even your fault. It could be other people who were doing some renovations. Somehow there was something just fall down and cost you your, your causing you some injuries. So make sure you try to stay away, you know, avoid all these high risk or, or, or renovations or, or what we call the under construction kind of environment because those are the place where it could be slightly high, higher risk. Okay. And lastly is the solitary. Well, solitary basically means that you feel lonely and you're just feeling that people don't understand you somehow and you start to detach or try to hide yourself away because people just don't understand that your intention to help and serve other people, somehow people just misunderstand you and make you feel like, you know, they just can't connect with you. So overall, for those who are born with the snake zodiac in year 2023, you have all this traveling opportunity and throughout this process make sure you are able to stay connected with your loved one and make sure you are constantly keep catching up with your the people who you love because with the earth funerals basically the two funerals are it could remind you that you have to pay more attention to those, especially the elderly, their health, their conditions, especially during this pandemic, there could be high risk in terms of all this, um, you know, plague. So make sure you are able to monitor and catch up with all the people that you truly matters the most. And overall, having all this negative influence is also reminding you to be able to have a very clear communication this year so try to write out or, or express using some media to make sure everyone truly really understand your intention because worse it could cause your what we call the relationship breakup because due to your own thoughts of trying to explore new stuff you've forgotten your loved one how to communicate with them so overall those are the signs that you have to be extra careful that you need to pay attention for the year 2023 but nevertheless it's going to be more enlightening and more fun there will be more experience perhaps you can explore new market explore new environment um, going for pilgrimage those are the stuff that can boost you in your journey this year 
So let us take a look where the snake zodiac could appear in your destiny chart. Here we are using the Pazha destiny chart, the four pillar of destiny. So the snake zodiac could appear different area in your life, which could influence different aspect of your life as well. So first of all, let's say if you are born in the year of snake with the snake zodiac in your year pillar, it governs your outlook, your friends, social circle, your general overview, how you are being influenced by the external, the market conditions, your peers. So basically this year you realize that most of your friends could be more driven to explore. There'll be more traveling around you. And all these people were just talking about exploring new opportunity and try to gain new insights into scale up their, their, their business or perhaps studying some new courses. And perhaps you may also meet some spiritual guru because the year pillar could denote your mentor, your, your guru, the teacher. So having this star in your year pillar, basically it means that this year you have more opportunity to meet all the stuff that I mentioned for you in year 2023. Next is the month of snake. Let's say you are born in the, year, uh, the month of snake zodiac. Well, basically the month governs your career, your performance, your ability to make a uh, generate wealth and it could also denote the business that you are doing. So basically having the sky hostile means that this year your work somehow you have more travel opportunity perhaps uh, work together with other collaborators from other continent and you need to you know go out to do more training as well because we have the sky gracious star so there will be more happening for you to exude your self identity and also your professional um, ability to build up your professional reputation as well so nevertheless these are one of the most positive star and together with helpful nobleman heavily ye star in your work so perhaps it means that your career uh, there'll be helpful people from your subordinates from your from your uh, superior from your boss so somehow you are able to ease out all your pain and by the way for those who have the snake zodiac in their month pillar, the month also govern their parent. So heavenly, having the two, what we call the funeral star, you have to pay extra attention to the, the health conditions of your parent or perhaps your auntie, your, your uncles, people, your relative basically, okay? So make sure you do pay attention to their health condition this year. And next, is the day pillar if you have the snake zodiac in your day pillar the day pillar basically governs your personal growth your relationship your house they are basically the things that very close to you so having this opportunity if for those who are single perhaps it's time for you to go out and explore a uh, new environment to find your potential life candidate you know life partner and for those who are already in a relationship or already married, well, somehow this year you may find your spouse could be the helpful nobleman or people around them could be helpful to you in advising you in terms of relationship, your personal growth, and also having the sky horse is going to be great because you have more opportunity to travel and create more memorable um, experience together with your loved one. So I think this is quite auspicious overall. And last, for those who have the snake zodiac in their hour pillar. Well, the hour pillar governs the area of your investment, your dream, the things that you wanted to do, your, your aspirations, or it will also governs your asset, the things that you do in terms of investment, and it could be your subordinates, your children as well, yeah? So having this star, it means that you have more travel opportunity with your staff, or perhaps you, your kids, your children, somehow they have more opportunity to travel. And also having the sky gracious in and Taiji nobleman, somehow it will bring you opportunity to learn the unconventional wisdom that I mentioned earlier. Perhaps it's time for you to travel to uh, learn new new stuff related to your religious, going for pilgrimage, those other stars that actually boost this kind of activity, okay? So overall, as what I have highlighted here, these are the conclusion of the positive boost. And as you can see, have more travel opportunity, explore, expand new market, gain new insights, uh, business expansion, new market, new target audience, gain assistance from helpful nobleman, manufacturer, happy events, learning new stuff, positive boost with more fame and popularity increment, personal branding growth increase in terms of your own value and also your wealth generation ability, 
and also lastly is the studying the unconventional layers of life spiritual or perhaps even religious studies will helpful to you and also this other negative pullback factor could actually stop you down in your momentum and make sure you are aware like you know broken communications feeling solitude potential of sad events over news from family or relative especially when you are traveling somehow some things just happen in a, in your hometown petty petty people gossip rumors spreading around and high risk injury prone avoid dangerous or what we call uh, mishap places easily breaking stuff communication breakdown so make sure you are aware of all your communication make sure everyone stay intact and understand your ultimate goal or your destinations or whatever things that you are doing right now legal agreement issue which can cause you some losses and also no gambling no high risk activities so basically for those who are born with the snake zodiac these are the cheat sheet they already remind you to help you to stay online and make sure you are aware of all this uh, positive and negative stuff and next is the to-do section well mark your calendar on these are the positive and crucial months where you have to do more activities you have to go out to meet more people to do more networking and also perhaps you can use this kind of positive month to uh, do more traveling and execute your plan launch the project that you've been wanting to especially during january august and september and take note over months such as the february august and november because there could be some entanglement and it could be you know slightly challenging for you and also remember the snake zodiac have the best friend of the monkey zodiac well the monkey zodiac despite they have gone through some clashes in the year of 2022 but still they have a lot of auspicious stuff where they can use it to help you to mitigate some of the obstacle or hindrance that you may be experiencing and also you are forming the tree harmony together with the ox and the rooster well the ox this year they have more opportunity to develop or self-professional uh, skill set mastery for the ox zodiac so you can ask those expert to help you out and also the rooster well the rooster despite they may experiencing some clashes in the year of 2023 but nevertheless they have the month emptiness style which is positive boost in terms of gaining uh, enlightenment helping you to answering some of the most important question in your life so overall those are the positive star helping you and also this zodiac is very helpful to you as well so make sure if you have any difficulties perhaps you can plot the chart of your friends your colleagues your your boss you know find out what zodiac do they have do they have the rooster do they have the the ox or do they even have the monkey zodiac perhaps they can help you out okay so overall this is the, the year that you have to heighten your consciousness make sure your mind are able to focus to take good care over all the stuff that could you know causing a lot of breakdown if you don't aware so don't be just over carried away by exploring new territories until you've forgotten the foundation of your inner security which is the family or your relationship matters so overall that's all from me John of Lee from Renergy. I'll be seeing you in the next video and do remember to hit like and subscribe to my channel because I'll be publishing more guides monthly forecasts in terms of using Pata, Qimen Dunja, Feng Shui, Yi Jing and other stuff as well. So that's all from me John of Lee. Once again I'll be signing off and see you in the next video. Bye bye.